curse scandal and not only was it growing in size but they found another place that I fought so hard to get out of and I knew then like okay I he's I can't deal with it anymore cuz you're my home away from home away from home away from being alone Hey cousins, welcome back. So I know it's been like two weeks since I last posted a video. So here I am, I'm back, I'm doing good. The family's doing good. I do have a few updates that I would like to share with y'all, bring y'all up to date with everything that's been going on. Um, Not only with our household, but as well as mama with her um diagnosis and everything that she's been dealing with the past two years so um i'm gonna go ahead and insert a few clips that i've took the last week i guess you can say the kids were out of school last week for spring break so we took a trip down to the beach um we visited the aquarium after we got done with the aquarium we went and had a nice little picnic on the beach it was our kids and a few of our friends. I think there was like four car loads deep <laughs> headed to the beach just to have a day so the kids could have some fun to do while they were out for spring break. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and insert that footage here. It's nothing fancy, just a little walkthrough of the North Carolina Aquarium. Insert that footage as well as some a little bit of softball footage. The kids started softball last week. So, I've been extremely busy, but um, I'm going to insert all that. Y'all watch that. I will have a time stamp right here, so if you don't want to watch all that and go straight to the updates and everything that's been going on, feel free to skip ahead. I will not be mad. But, yeah, go ahead and enjoy this aquarium footage, and I will catch back up with y'all in a minute. Hey, how'd you get to? I'm not going to say I'm loving you too.
The street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my day No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way so I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day yeah I am on my way up I won't slow down yeah I am on my way up I won't slow down 
I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way, and I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care 'cause I am on my way up, and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. I know what it's like to be broke, yeah. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. <laughs> yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down.
I hope y'all enjoyed that little footage, a brief little update, just recording whenever I had my phone. I'm recording now on my phone, so the quality probably isn't the best. I've got videos on my camera that I need to edit, but with everything going on, I wanted to give y'all an update before I pushed out any homemaking, cleaning videos. So, I hope y'all enjoyed that little aquarium visit. So, the update is... I don't know where to start. I'll start with Mama's update. So, y'all know, I think I told y'all about two years ago, they found a um, nodule on her lung that they thought was cancer. Um, So, they've been monitoring it ever since 2022, which is a big part of why we bought this land, because it's right, right behind my mama's house on the dirt road. So that was the whole reason why we bought the land and got our house put here. So I wanted to be closer to mama. If something happened to her, I could take care of her. So, and I know I've gotten a lot of new subscribers since we got our new house. So that's like the backstory of why we bought this particular piece of land and put our house here. Mom had a cancer scare. So they found a nodule in 2022. Um, on her lung, they just said they they will continue to monitor it and do, um, I think she was doing a scan every six months to a year on her lungs. And um, everything was fine. It wasn't growing. But at the beginning of this year, she went in and had her scan done, which was, uh, I want to say, back in January or it could have been middle of February. She had her skin done and not only was it growing in size, but they found another one. Um, so they wanted to go ahead and do surgery. And that's what they done about two weeks ago, week and a half ago. They went in and done surgery, removed part of her lung. And um, she had all that done. So, I told y'all yesterday, that's another thing, thank y'all so much for the prayers and being patient with me. I told y'all yesterday on my community tab, I was in Chapel Hill with her having her stitches removed. So, she had her surgery done about a week and a half ago. They removed the nodule. Well, I can't even say they removed it. Because there wasn't anything there. They couldn't find it. After monitoring it, monitoring it for a year and a half. It was gone nowhere to be found he even made an incision on the other side nothing there and mind you i seen not one but both these nodules on her um last scan that she had done we all seen them but he got in there he did go ahead and remove the part of her lung where the nodule was but he said he couldn't find it he didn't see it he didn't feel it and like i said he cut the other side you know, just to be on the safe side and couldn't find neither one of those nodules. 
So that was great news. And like I said, we took her back yesterday up to Chapel Hill, had her stitches removed. Um, and they told us it was not cancer. So that was great news. They did say that she had, um, a lot of, um, pus in her lungs. So they were able to go ahead and suck all that out while she was in surgery. Um, and she's still a little sore. Well, a lot of sore. She's, she's went back home now. I think she went home this past Saturday. She was supposed to go with to the aquarium, but she wasn't up to it. So she's back home. I loved having her here for like the past week and a half that she was here. And I know we all have our own religious beliefs, but all I'm going to say is prayer changes things. Prayer works. So that's the great news on Mama. Thank God she's doing so much better. And like I said, this all started two years ago that they've been monitoring this whole thing. Um, so yeah, that it's just mind boggling, um, to know that they couldn't find anything. It's crazy. Um, so there's the update with mama. She is cancer free and back home healing. Like I said, thank y'all so much for being patient with me. Thank y'all for seeing prayer, for sending prayers and remembering us um, during this time. And now to the next update. So y'all know uh, we were fostering on my family member's baby. We, I, we were fostering my, on my side. Um, he's been, he had been, he's been with us since December, like two weeks before Christmas, he come in with us and, um, some things changed and, um, we ended up being foster care parents would be the proper name for it. Um, because essentially the state come in and took custody and we were labeled as foster parents once that took place so he'd been here since december and i'm just gonna say he's no longer here with us he he was placed with another family member i just i i could not i couldn't i couldn't do it anymore um it got to the point where it was interfering with my kids with him being here and it's once once things start interfering with my kids then that's that's how i know like okay i can't have that happening so i called asked if he could be placed somewhere else they asked me what was going on i told him and i don't want to say nothing bad about anyone um that's in this whole like I can't even, God, I can't even talk right now. But he's no longer with us. I called CPS or well, social services and asked, he like, could y'all, could he be placed elsewhere with another family member? Y'all, I just felt like I was going back to a dark place that I fought so hard to get out of years ago. I didn't, and I, I didn't want to go back there. I told her before I do, I've dealt with anxiety and depression since the age of 12. So I know when things are, things are getting bad. And for the longest, I felt like that for probably the last month, two months. And I was just like, no, it'll be okay. You know, you, you got to work through it. You're doing this for a family member. But I, I literally sat at the table one Saturday morning crying because I just couldn't, couldn't deal with it anymore. So, um, and to deal with it, I mean, the crying. He cried all the time. The past four months that he's been here. Is that four months? For five months that he had been here. Just cried. Constantly, constantly cried. And I know it's, it's, um, coming from 
how he was born, um, things that went on while he was in the fetus. Those, all that stuff was like starting to be apparent, you know. Um, I couldn't do it anymore. Like I said, it started affecting my kids to where they were crying. Like, mommy, when, when is this going to be over with? Um, and I knew then, like, okay, I, he's, I can't deal with it anymore. So I made that call to social services. They come and took him out of our care and placed him with another family member. He is, he's great there. Um, the past five months of my life has been the most stressful ever. Um, just dealing with constantly a crying baby in the house. Which, like I said, none of my babies were like that. None of my babies cried. Thank God my babies were like the perfect ones. They did not cry. They oh, hardly ever did they cry. But having five babies that never cried and then jumping in and getting a baby that just constantly cried. It did do something to you. Top of me having five kids. Thank thank God my husband was, and he still is home with us. So he's been here to help me through through it all. Thank God for him. But uh, yeah, those are the updates. I will say that once I was out of that whole situation with social services, it was like a weight was lifted. I was like, I can get my peace back so to speak um but i am back on anxiety and depression medic medication so there's that um there's that but anyway that's the update i wanted to give y'all so the next video y'all will probably see it tomorrow it was filmed like two Saturdays ago. It's like a nice cleaning video, my Saturday morning cleaning video. Um, but I wanted to give y'all a proper update before I threw out those videos, like I said. But yeah, that's that's the update. That's that's how everything is going this way. Um, mama's good. We're good now. We're trying to get back in our little routine here in our house now that the baby's not with us anymore um i'm still trying to get austin to sleep in his room he has not slept back there since the baby's been here because the baby would wake up crying and wake austin up Austin don't get to crying so austin's been sleeping with us so yeah i will catch back up with y'all in tomorrow's video it is a cleaning video so if you need cleaning motivation be back here tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. Um, has tons of cleaning motivation. I also, share, also share some new house plants that I got, which I've gotten three more house plants since. <laughs> I've gotten three more house plants since then, or four. I think it's four more house plants since then. Um, but yeah, y'all will see that. I'll probably be back on my normal schedule Monday for y'all. So y'all will see all the new house plants. I did get a new a vacuum cleaner. I went with the Shark. I think it's, yeah, it's a Shark vacuum, a Shark Pro. It's like the stick, but it's not cordless. I did not want to get a cordless one because I had a cordless one before and I feel like it did not have enough suction power. Um, oh, the uh, um, there's another update on our yard plans so we got our dirt hauled in i told you in the last video they spread it well we called and had more dirt hauled in yesterday for our backyard um someone's coming this evening to spread that out for my pool area yay and then he's coming back today as well to drop another load in our front yard to build up our front yard a little bit more so it's not flooding but yeah i think i'll probably go not this weekend probably next weekend go ahead and get my swimming pool start getting that put up um and where so here's another update jesus 
I should have wrote all this stuff down. So where our dining room window is, we're gonna have someone come in and make a sliding glass door there. And we're gonna build a deck out from there to go out to the pool. And then where our back door is, which is in our laundry room, we're just gonna have, I think Mikhail said like a six foot little deck there, nothing big. Um, But yeah, when that sliding glass thing take place, I'm not sure. We do have someone um coming out to give us a uh, give us an estimate on how much that's going to run us to do that so i'm super excited about that i'm so ready for summer now we already have a few trips planned for our campground um but yeah anyway let me stop rambling that's the whole update i hope y'all enjoy this little update i've missed y'all so much can't wait to get back on my normal schedule Monday. But yeah, I will catch back up with y'all tomorrow night. Bye, y'all.